Lord, amen. If you can stand real quick, we're going to go into Mark chapter 16, starting in verse 1 and verse 2. Give honor to our bishop and the wonderful leadership of this church. And I give honor to all of you for being here, amen, to celebrate the raising of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. At Mark chapter 16, verse 1 says, And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and the mother of James and Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they had come to the, unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And I want to talk to us for a brief moment on what I'm just going to title, because I, I do like to play with words, but the gospel according to Mary. The gospel according to Mary. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, Mary, a lot of religions like to lift her up higher than where the scripture does, and they say prayers unto Mary, the mother of Jesus. Now, here's some hope to all of our mothers out there is that if they're praying to Mary, she lost her child for three days. So don't let nobody put you down, all right? You know, you might slip up here and there, lose them for five minutes, lose them. She didn't know where Jesus was for three whole days. They were on a trip and a journey and they just happened to look up and say, you know, where is Jesus? And they went searching and they went back to the temple and found him teaching. And I just want to say to somebody here today, if you have looked up and you're wondering, uh, where is Jesus? Just like uh, Mary and Joseph found him where they left him. And that was uh, at the house uh, of God. You are in the place uh, where you can find uh, Jesus. But she found him and it was fast forwarding a little bit and they would be at a cross and she would have words that he has spoken saying that if you destroy this temple in three days, I will raise it up. And all of the gospels, they, they don't just talk about just the life of Jesus. They talk about his death, but they don't leave us with just the death. There's always a, a promise of something greater or something more to come. It's not that he just died, but that he rose again and that there's a promise that he has uh, for each and every one of us. That is the gospels that you see. But when Mary saw him die, she made sure that his body was in a tomb and Three days later, just like when she had lost him before, she went back to find him. And he said he was about his father's business, but this time he was going to ascend up into heaven. And when she showed up, she saw him ascending into the power of his might. Now, her gospel would be is that he's alive and that he's well. I found him and I know him uh, to be a true and a living God. And she would be able to give you a gospel that he is not dead, he is uh, risen just like he said. So the gospel that Mary would have would be that God is alive, but it would not stop there because when you flip over into Acts chapter 1, you will see that there is an assembling together of some people that are getting together waiting for the promise of the filling of of the Holy Ghost. And among all of those people that were there, you will find that one of them was Mary, the mother of Jesus. And I gotta imagine that this, I always picture as such a dignified woman as well put together and looking well and has her hair done just right. But one of those that was stumbling out of that room and they thought that they were drunk. And I made sure that her gospel would probably say that he's alive and that you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. Not much later that Peter would also have that same sentiment because he would say that you need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. 
In this Jesus that we're celebrating today, uh, we're not celebrating just the resurrection because uh, it seemed like it's something cool to do. Uh, but the Bible says that the Apostle Paul said that in Romans 8, that if that same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, if it dwell in you, uh, it'll quicken your mortal body. What he's saying is, is that if you want to be raptured up, uh, we're celebrating that he rose again. Uh, and because of that, uh, I can be taken away uh, when the trumpet sounds. Uh, this world uh, is not my home. Uh, I'm just passing through. Uh, but I need uh, what gospel of Mary, what she would say, uh, that you need uh, to be filled uh, with the gift uh, of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Be blessed, church, in Jesus' name.